near the bottom soon. A couple of mechanical jigs. So, we got one. Oh, this feels like a bit of fish. Well, we're back into it, guys. Look at that weather. Looks pretty good. Um, what's on the cards today? Well, today it's time to get back into some some of the west coast tuna and it's a pretty exciting time of year really because out west the water warms up and um, when the water warms up that means all the uh, game fish like marlin and albacore tuna, skipjack tuna, a lot of marco sharks um, but yeah what else, uh, mahi mahi that's a good one um, Hopefully we're lucky enough to find some of them. But yeah, main goal for today is just to get into some tuna. Hopefully it's nice and calm out there because when it's calm it's um, really easy to spot the tuna schools on the surface. You always see them um, breaking the surface chasing the bait. So hopefully that's the case. Uh, yeah, we'll find them, troll some lures, cast some lures and um, hopefully get into some fish. Ski's ready to go. Taking four rods with us today, just to have a um, bit of variation in the lures when we're casting. If the fish aren't liking one lure, you can just grab another rod and um, throw another lure and swap it up every now and then. But yeah, get the old girl in the water and we'll get out there. Someone must have been netting for mullet and they've done all their scaling there. Big pile of scales. You can see them all floating in the water. And look at that. How good is that? It's going to be a hot one today guys. It's going to be a sunscreen kind of day today. I actually need to get some more sunscreen. This stuff's pretty old. I bought it when I got my last sea do so it's probably oh, it's been coming up seven or eight years old now I guess. But I think it actually expires. Can't really see any writing left on the bottle but last time I put it on I may have missed some spots as well but it was um, not the best and it ended up a bit burnt. So be a bit more liberal with it this time I think. I notice I'm also wearing the long sleeve shirt. I actually wear this shirt when I'm welding as well because it gives you that protection. Because if you don't know, um, welding gives off a, a heap of UV light as well. And it's just the same as sunburn, you'll get roasted from that if you're not careful. Alright, sunscreen's on. Ski's warmed up. We've got plenty of water down here at the moment, two and a half metres. So yeah, then we'll cruise down to the bar. And once over the bar we'll just head straight out west and look for some nice blue water. <laughs> Guard Radio, this is Zulu Mike Uniform 7107. Thank you, uh, we'll speak to you when you're safe to the outside of the radio. It's not a bad idea when you're crossing a bar just to spend a bit of time at the entrance and um, watch the patterns of the waves and see what they're doing. And um, you generally pick out the calmer areas. As you can see the channel goes out this way and then curves a little bit and he's pretty much straight out at the moment by the looks. So um, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. out the back there Radio, go ahead, over. 
I am safely over the Waikato bar. Uh, I'll be heading straight out west direction to the 100 meter mark. All right, it's looking promising. Right over the bar. Sun's coming up. It's getting pretty warm on the back of my neck already. Uh, yeah, let's get out there and go find some tuna. Right, so we're at 38 meter mark. And there's a current line just around here. You can see some foam out there. Might be a bit hard to see on the GoPro. Uh, and I've just found some dolphins as well, which is pretty cool. So we might have a bit of a play around with them. Woohoo! There they are. Oh, there's a little baby one there too. get over how like playful these guys always are they always want to come up and swim around and swim with you <laughs> not sure whether I should put the lures in here have a bit of a troll or keep going out a bit further. The water's still really green. So, yeah, maybe I'll just head out further, I think. Leave these guys alone. Just had a bit of intel that there's um, albacore tuna out at about 80, so we'll head out there and give that a shot. <laughs> Okay, so I'm only at 45 meters now and I haven't actually seen any fish yet but there's a lot of birds flying around just above the surface of the water so I think I'm going to chuck a lure out here and uh, maybe troll for a little bit Right, that rod's in the holder with an 80 gram double trouble on it So I've got a micro jig out that side and double trouble out that side I haven't seen any um, fish activity yet and the sound is actually pretty quiet here. So um, give it another few minutes and then we'll head out deeper. But I'll just keep my eyes peeled. Hopefully we see something. We're just gonna keep heading out deeper. <laughs> I've got another escort here with me again. <laughs> oh there's another one. Two of them. Come on. Come on, mate. You gonna follow? Oh, there he is. Right, so we're at 55 meters now. Uh, still haven't seen any fish, but there's a few gannets around here. Uh, I've seen a couple of them bomb the water, so there's got to be something here, maybe a little bit of bait fish, or actually, if you can see there on the side scan, we went over a bait school just before. Interesting. But yeah, I think that's enough sign for me to put the lures out and uh, just have another bit of a troll through this area. So we're back in trolling mode, micro jig out the left, double trouble out the right. Definitely seen tuna here, not a lot of them, but um, definitely seen some so that's more, than, more action than what we've had today so far. So we'll do a couple of laps around this area before 
find some more fish. Okay, so there's definitely fish here where these birds are. You can see the fish breaking the water every now and then. I don't think there's many. But at least, at least see if we can try and catch one of them. All right, still no fish caught. It's generally pretty quiet out here. I think I'm just gonna carry on heading out deeper and hopefully I can find something soon. Still no fish yet and I haven't seen a lot of action. We're at 80 meter mark now. Just put the lures back out and um, have a bit of a troll around here. But it's not looking too promising at the moment. The water is looking nice around here. But we just haven't really seen any fish. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of bird life out here either, so um, like spend maybe an hour out here looking around. And then failing that, I think I'll head back into sort of the 50 meter mark. That seems to be where most of the action was happening. I was got to on. Feel like good fish too. Get this one first. This rod's got stronger line on it. Should be able to get him in sooner. He's actually coming back towards me, which is good. Why does it always happen when you got... Two lines in the water, you're going to catch two fish. This other one's gone slack too. Not sure if we've still got the other one on, but hopefully we do. Oh yep, we still got the other one on, there's a bit of tension on there. Can't see whether it's an Albie or a Skippy yet. Oh yeah, it's an Albie, bloody good. Yeah. Try to get the other guy in. Pretty sure he's still on there. Yeah, he's still on there. That's the good thing about a nice small jig. They don't have a lot of weight to um, throw around and shake the hook free. Another nice little Albie on the pocket rocket. Let's get him bleeding. Then we'll try to get into some more. One and two. Alright, we got both our trolling rods back out. Let's see if we can catch some more. Oh, 
we trolled from 80 to 85 and we got the tuna at 80 and we haven't had anything since so it's looking beautiful out here at the moment look at that but I've just put the lures in pulled them in and I think I'll head back to 80 and um, start making my way back in because there's not a lot of life out here by the looks of it I'd say I'll probably have better luck in sort of the 50 60 meter mark but I'll go back to 80 and try trolling there again where I caught those other tuna <laughs> little school of fish, I don't know whether you could see it, it was hanging around this bit of plastic, which is a bait bag. Yeah, it's not good to see plastic in the ocean, but it just goes to show you that anything like that, like these little fish are coming back to try and hide under my ski now. Might be a bit buggered without the plastic to give them shelter, but oh well. So we're back at 80 meters. Put the lures out again and do a bit more trolling. This time I'll head in shallower and yeah, fingers crossed. She's pretty quiet, guys. Can't complain about the weather though. Look at it. Mint. Still got the double trouble out that side. And the pocket rocket micro jig out that side. So yeah, we're at 77 meters at the moment. We caught those last two tuna at 80. So probably should have stayed around there, but it just doesn't look like there's much happening out here. So I'm going to follow my gut instinct and head back in sort of, I think it was about 55 metres. We saw some birds in there. They weren't doing a lot, but um, more than what's going on out here. So, yeah. Yeah, we did troll around the birds earlier as well, but I'm pretty sure it was bang on high tide at the time. So it would have been slack current. So the fish may not have been on the bike. So it's a couple of hours later now, so we will try again. So we're in 80 meters here. Drop the, saw a little bit of sign on the bottom, so drop drop the double trouble all the way down. And we've got Something that feels semi-decent. Long way down though. 75 meters of water on 80 gram double trouble. Yeah, I saw a little bit of sign down there. I thought it might be squid. So I thought I'll just drop down and see what happens. And then I uh, hook something. And it doesn't feel like a squid. I'm assuming it'll just be a snapper being right on the bottom like that he's not got a lot of fight on him now but you wouldn't coming up from that deep you can see it yeah nice snapper there you go 75 meters of water, 80 gram double trouble, equals a good snapper. I'll just, just drive back to where I hooked that fish, and I'll have another drop. So this is the spot. So there's still a little bit of sign down there. 
really scattered sign, just little specks. But my sound there is on high chirp, so I might have to play around with that, change it to low chirp or uh, lower frequency, and see if that shows up better marks, because it's probably probably far too deep for the high chirp. But see if we can get another fish at least before we do that. On the bottom, getting bites straight away <laughs> to another fish instantly. How easy is that? The next drop, I might use the kingfish jig because it's got a 200 gram double trouble, the same jig that's on this one actually but about four times as big. So hopefully a big jig will attract a bigger fish. That's another snapper. Not as big, but still could be 38 maybe, close to 40. There's no point trying to release them at this depth because I'm just likely to kill them doing it. Now we'll pull out the kingfish jig and give that a try. So you see there, exactly the same, exactly the same jig, just a bigger version of it. Actually quite curious to see what happens here. At least I can winch them in faster with this rod as well. Alright, it's on the bottom. A few jigs up. Let it fall back down. On the bottom. Takers so far. Oh, yeah. I got one. Decent fish. About five mechanical jigs up off the bottom, let it fall down about another couple of meters and then stop it, and then the fish just smacked it. Check that out. On the 200 gram, just double trouble. Too easy. Let's do it again. All right, we got to be near the bottom soon. We're on the bottom. A couple of mechanical jigs. So, oh, oh, we got one. Feels like a bit of fish. He actually took it when I was mechanical jigging too. Definitely feels like a bit of fish this one. Almost pulling a bit of drag. I almost caught it for a kingfish, but I didn't. And what do you know? <laughs> it's 
the kingy. Just a small fella. We'll get the hook out of him and he can go back. That's the good thing about kingfish. They're a great species for catch and release because they don't suffer from barotrauma at all. Back he goes. Now we'll get another one. Yeah, I thought that was a bit weird. Quite often snapper aren't really aggressive enough to chase it when you're mechanical jigging. They'll get it when you go really slow, but not while you're doing it fast. And I caught him when I was doing it fast, so it did make me think maybe this is a king. And it was. <laughs> they seem to have shied off from the 200 gram one, so... We'll go back down to 80 gram. Current's not an issue today, or wind, which is nice. But you can fish the smaller jigs down deep. So we'll see what happens once this gets down there. Huh. Bites again straight away. We got one. Might be a kawai, maybe swimming up. Oh, it's a snapper, but I fell hooked him in the eye. So since they've stopped biting on the double trouble, maybe if they've gone off the bite, sometimes switching to a kaburu can entice it just because it's got all the little skirts, which fish seem to love. So, and this one's a 120 gram, so it's quite heavy. It'll be good for fishing this depth of water. We will send that down and see if that works. It obviously worked. Oh, he's gone again. Simple change to a another jig can be all it takes to um, bring the fish on the boat again. bad snapper. That Kibera seems to be doing the trick. They weren't touching the double trouble anymore. Now as soon as you get this down there they're onto it. Pulled the hook on him. And I think I lost the whole jig then. was damaged from one of the times it got snagged when we were catching Trevally last time. Pain in the ass. Stupid me, that was my last Kibura. But luckily I found an old 100 gram Kibura head and I had an old replacement skirt hiding away in the tackle box as well. The wind is actually starting to get up a bit now as well. Turn the camera off and then I'll hook straight up. <laughs> there he is. Nice snapper. There he 
there it is. The old Kabira strikes again. Just goes to show, when the fishing gets slow, it can be up to you to make it heat up again. A simple change of jigs was all that it took. And I'm catching fish like that again. Restarted our drift, sent the Kabura back down. We're over a bit of sign at the moment. So I'm expecting big things on the bottom. Are we on the bottom? Yeah, we're on the bottom. Had one bite, just a small one. And push on. <laughs> There he is, another nice snapper, again not a huge fish but bloody good size. Actually feels like quite a good one this time. We're not gaining much ground on this fish, a little bit, it's starting to come up now. He's actually smaller than I thought he was going to be. Once again. What a day. As, as you can see, it's definitely not as calm as it was earlier. It's not a glass off at the moment. The wind's just starting to pick up. But the good thing is we've got to go that way. And the wind is coming from behind us. So, um, We'll be getting pushed home all the way, which is fine by me, make for a smoother ride. Well, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that in the video because it's quite far away. But I'm about 90% sure I just saw a free jumping marlin out here. It would have been probably 500 meters away from me. And he was just going batshit crazy. He did probably eight jumps in total. So I think I'm in the area that I last saw him. But, yeah, I don't know, it's going to be going to be hard to find him if he's um, gone under the water. That was bloody impressive to watch though. It was exactly when you see them behind the boat when they're hooked and they just go mental and start jumping and jumping and jumping. Got my mates the dolphins back. There's more over here too. Definitely all happening here. There's birds everywhere, there's dolphins everywhere, there's marlin. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have a cast. Kawai down there. Look at them. That is mental. And if I wanted to catch a marlin. I would catch one of those kawai and live bait it, 100%. Look at them all. Pretty kawai. 
Dolphins. These guys are doing big jumps. So hopefully they can put on a bit of a show for us. <laughs> 